Well, it's been a couple of weeks since we made much progress. The last thing that we had done was get the keel finally bolted down. I spent a fair amount of time trying to sand off that 5200, but you can see all the bolt holes are filled. All the bolts are in. And then this, this goes clear up to the front to the stem, and I'm actually very happy with the way this has come out. I started doing the planking. Uh, I had made a decision to cedar strip. I built a canoe before with cedar strip. So I have a bit of experience with it. This is different. Um, I edge glued all my strips before and uh, I'm not having to do that this time, which makes this go much faster. I'm actually screwing these right into the oak, the, the steam bent oak frames. Um, so uh, this is different because I'm got to get these cut and fit down to where they come into the rabbit. Um, I'm in the process of doing the fifth strip on this side now and I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that I'm doing here. Uh, first of all I'm using a number six countersink bit you see on the one drill there and I've got it measured down to where um, here I'm only three quarters going in um, and I'm using number six three quarter inch screws um, because these oak, these bent oak frames are only like 15 sixteenths if I remember correctly um, and with the angles that they're on there uh, I didn't want to use one inch screws and find myself screwing them down to the uh, to the molds but all, all that wood that's in there that's the mold part is, is not eventually part of the boat all, all of this back in here, that, that's not part of the boat. Only, only these oak frames, each one of these coming down off of the molds, that's, that's part of the boat. So that's all I'm screwing into. Now, when I come up to the stem, I'm just taking a little, well, I've got this little flexible ruler. Let me show you exactly what I do. I... I Clamp the, clamp the strip down, you know, with these little loop clamps in there. Those actually work better than the bigger ones. There's, there's a bigger one up there. Every once in a while I use one of those, but just these smaller little clamps uh, seem to hold that right onto that next strip. Then what I'm doing is I'm coming down with the, the ruler down here where the rabbit is, and I'm just holding it fair to the curve of the, I can't do this and hold the camera, but you'll get the idea. Hold it fair to the curve of the of the stem or the rabbit, mark a pencil line on the strip and then just cut it off. And you can see I'm getting it right up in the rabbit. I've obviously got an issue with this very first strip. Uh, that's what epoxy's for. I'm, I'll fix that. So anyway then, the other thing I found to do is take a clamp like this and mash these together because we've got a pretty complex curve coming from the bow back. It, it bows in on frame one. You can really see the bow here where it comes in. Um, so it's a fairly complex curve. So it comes in there, but then it starts bowing back out coming here. So you can see that the strip, it doesn't really want to lay fair, but it will. Um, and these strips are three eighths inch thick where when I did the canoe, they were quarter inch. But um, Plan calls for half inch planking, so I'm still an eighth shy of that, but by the time I put glass and epoxy on it, we're, we'll get our strength. And so anyway, just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I'm still very perplexed with how this is going to work as I come through the fat part of the chine here and come up and around because there's an awful lot more distance all the way up there to the centerboard trunk than there is, say, up at the stem or even back at the transom. Um, I'm having to do a little bit of fairing on the frames and the transom as I bring these strips around, but I can do it as I do it. Uh, on this last one, I actually just took the X-Acto knife and I just had to trim down the, down the frame just a little bit so that that strip would lay on there a little more fair. And I may have to do that some more as I come down. I've had to sand down part of this bevel on the transom. I'm just not gonna get it exactly right.
um, until you see how the how the strips are going to lay. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it, and I think uh, we're going to get a real nice job as far as this planking is concerned, and uh, with uh, epoxy and, and glass. I'll have a boat that can live on the trailer that I don't have to worry about the wood taking up every time I go to put it in the water. Because um, this boat will live on the trailer most of its life. So, all right, that's it for tonight. Oh, yeah, where's the sailing ship? There she is.